Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, our topic starts from a square, A, B, C, D, with a side length equal to 3. We extend AB until E. And BE is equal to 4. By using the same procedure, we also extend the other three sides, until F, G, and H, respectively, and connect E, F, G, H, to construct a bigger square. Can you calculate the area of this new square? If you know Pythagorean theorem, this question will be super easy. However, please try to think about it in other ways, as this is in fact a good practice in order to understand Pythagorean theorem. Why not give a try? And we will come back soon. To illustrate it more clearly, we put our figure on grids. As you have seen, inside the big square, there are four triangles, in addition to the original square, so we color those four triangles separately. And we move the blue triangle to the top of the green one. And relocate the yellow triangle below the purple one. The square thus transformed to a combination of two rectangle and the original small square. So we can calculate their areas one by one. The height of the rectangle is four and the width is 4 plus 3. Multiplying them together, we get the area of such a rectangle is 28. The area of the small square is certainly 3 by 3, and is equals to 9. We add them up, and get the area of the new square is 65. That is the answer, and we make it. But now, let's discuss something more. Please take a look at one of the four triangles. It is a right triangle and its two legs are 4 and 4 plus 3, respectively. And we find 65 is exactly the square of 4 plus the square of 4 plus 3. Remember the hypotenuse of this triangle is in fact one side of the square. That means the square of this hypotenuse equals to the summation of the square of the leg. And, that is the Pythagorean theorem. In the following, let's discuss the Pythagorean theorem in a more general form. We still consider such one of the four triangles. We name its two legs as A and B. The hypotenuse is C. So the side length of the small square is the difference between A and B. We use those letters to replace the numbers one by one. The area of the big square is obviously the square of C. The area of one rectangle is A times B. The area of the small square is the square of the difference between A and B and it is equals to square of A, plus square of B, and minus twice A times B. So the total area is twice AB plus square of A plus square of B and minus twice A times B. We remove the opposite terms, so as to achieve square of A plus square of B. Square of C is equal to square of A plus square of B, that is the Pythagorean theorem. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.